Alright people, welcome back. More Vibe than Why. So today is Tuesday, and that means that we are using Plague Glacious Bell. So I made like a minor change, and I was actually sitting there thinking about it, and I was just like, why do I use, um, you know, the whole, uh, Eris and, uh, God, what's that card called? Nefarious Harsh and Nefariousness, but I'm not running Dark Hole. Like, I'm using those cards, that, that engine, to, to go ahead and destroy my uh, Yvel, but I'm not running Dark Hole. Like, uh, uh, let me try it out Dark Hole again. Uh, I got Dark Ruffer. It's not the best of hands, but it's not the worst of hands, I guess. So, two. Right. Let's see if I can get one of the cards. <sighs> yeah, I mean. I got the bottomless. That's, that's, that's what I wanted to get, so I got it. <laughs> Whew, it's like I'm psychic. I was like, I don't get that bottomless, because I know, I know you would bottomless my dark graffer, so let's get that out of here. So, King Dark Graffer attack. What is it? Oh, huh, okay. This card seems slow. And it could be any ritual spell card. Uh, I guess it's for the archetype. You know, if you're just going to use it generically as a, you know, just a generic ritual card, it seems like you would rather run Manju and Senju, because that, that seems slow in comparison to Manju and Senju, because you normal summon them. I think it's normal summon or flip, I want to say. You get their effects just bam right now. You know, while on the other hand, uh, this, you gotta wait for it to flip. <laughs> so you either gotta wait for your opponent to attack into it, or you gotta flip it during your next turn. It's seems slow. Like, Nandu and Sun's like, summon, get my Ritual Spell or Monster. Bam, Ritual Summon, this turn, right now, right here, right now. But, hey. Perfect. Put some, some in your bell. Uh, go ahead and attack. Is it another one? Yep, I'm about to say, is it just another one? I was thinking it's gonna be just another one. So at least this is something new, because I have not seen this uh this deck before, so I think I'll go ahead and just make a little bit of a chain and send uh you no know, plague spreader and shit. Get set up. But since I feel like he's getting set up and he's about to push for a play, but for right now, if he, you know, he's not overextending, he's not pushing, then I'm totally fine right now. Yeah, I'm wondering if he's gonna, this this turn that he's gonna go ahead and ritual summon and then crush me. That's what I'm wondering, because he took two turns to set up, you know? Like, for a slow flip effect, it should be either or, but I guess there's maybe another one that says that you get to add a uh, ritual monster? I'm not sure, but... If you're going to be slow, slow that you flip, I mean, you should just say either or. Get a ritual card or monster. Wow. So I drew all terror and ultimate. But luckily, I had Dark Ref for the first time, but now it's just like, wow. I'll just go ahead and drop Plague. So I really don't feel like overextending right now. Especially since I drew Ultimate Nightmare, it's kind of like, eh, waste of a draw. But you can change as many face up attacks as much as you control path. If you do the one change, but you cannot change the battle position. Alright. Oh, face up. Face up. You can change as many face up attack position monster your opponent controls as possible to face up defense. And if you do, the one change by this effect cannot change their battle positions. Ooh. So I'm stuck in defense. <laughs> My level chain is stuck in defense, doing nothing. That is fine. Like I said, I, I already got set up before you, and now you know, all you're doing is really playing back row, and so you know monsters beat back row, so... I, really, I just need just any monster to start poking. I might go ahead and just try to push right now. God, I can go ahead and go... Plague, put Ultimate Nightmare back on the deck, summon Plague, Mally, banish, summon Mally, set the Soul Charge, go for uh, Void Ogre. I have Void Ogre in here, don't I? Yep. 
Yeah, seems like a fun one to me. Probably shouldn't have said that MST because I got a blind space, but I'm sorry. I'm wondering if those two cards in his hand are his ritual spells and no, that and what's actually set are all in his back row. That's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm wondering right now. There's one. So we'll go ahead and just summon a uh, white ogre. Deal with this lot, 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 lot. I, I, I knew one of them uh, down there was going to be a solemn warning. That's why I was like, fuck it. Go ahead and solemn warning me. You're going to be. And I didn't. And of course, now it's not summoned properly, so I can't even do that play anymore. Go ahead. If it was. If, if I got like Mirror Forced or something, then yeah, you know, I could totally uh, Soul Charger call the Haunted it, but it wasn't summoned properly, so it's pretty much stuck there unless I, you know, Nicola Wobble Chain or something. Sure has a lot of back row. Like, where's all his monsters? The only problem is where's all my monsters? Monsters beat back row, so I don't really feel like he's in the call of the haunted right now. More back row. Lots of back row. No, not a single monster. So, as you guys know, monsters beat back row. So, let's get the mirror force started. A Force, D Prison, Phoenix Chain, I don't really care. Same. I'll just be back row. So, and now, unless one of these back rows is like an MST or Compulsion or something, you can't even ritual something because you filled up your ship back. I'm assuming that all these are back row. That's what I'm assuming. Because you could have just set your ritual spells, but if the, all these are back row. Yeah. I'm going to allow you to go off with your play because I actually want to see what you do. Okay. Double call the hunted. I said, I'm assuming that you set one of your ritual spells. Oh, these are four. So you can go ahead and see. You're up on resources, though. One. Okay, he's in... he did set one of them. Uh, you must just tribute much. His total levels equals nine or more. Aren't these. Okay, okay. He can do it from his hand. Ooh, okay. Let me read you, because I don't know what you do. This is during each of your end phases. You can special summon one flip monster from your hand or whatever end phase down to this. You can only use one. You can only use one of the following. Damn it! You can only use one of the f once per turn during your players. I'm sorry. During your first turn, you could target one face down monster on the field and change to face down. During your first turn, you could target one face up monster on the field and change it to face down position. Ooh, okay. So, he can uh, change me, my Ebel, to face down defense position, and that will grant me my effect again. Okay, well, I can fuck him now. I can fuck him. MST these two cards, then summon, summon, try to push for some kind of play, you know, any kind of play. In which case, he'll use his effect once per turn. He can flip me down to face, face down defense position, and then I'll just have V-Bell ram into him. Yeah, this seems like a fine plan. I love you, MST. I clean up the field, because I'm about to go ham. Just another call of hunted, all right. I, I didn't know which was back row and which, one, which, was, which wasn't back row, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Call. Dark Reffer. Okay. Like I said, you have your, uh, this guy, so you can do your effect whenever you want. During, during you the first turn, you can tell you when face up. Monster. Alright. Okay. I'll go for like 101, it doesn't really matter. Say my effect. I'll detach two. Talk to back on summon or effect. On summon or uh, response to effect. Check 
like that. And now I'll wipe you and you won't get your flip effect either. Do you have some kind of effect? Nope, you're flipped. As soon as I read flip, I'm like, nope, you don't got nothing. <laughs> so I'm like, the terror is like this deck's worst enemy right now. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Wow, I got all these limit reverses and shit. I can't do nothing with them. I need to get fucking... I need to take the duel. I, I don't want to take the duel slow because, uh, you know, I'm up and I want to push, but I pretty much have to take the duel slow. That's the problem with classic ritual summons. This is the deck of that one girl. Oh, I forgot her name. The one that really likes Yuya. Oh, wait, I can't talk about the anime. If I talk about the anime, I get copyright strike. <laughs> right, I'm not going to attack it, do anything. Oh, oh, oh wait, this. I use that. I have to, all your monsters are flipped, so you're just getting fucked. Unless your monsters aren't flipped. What are you? Nope. What's up with this? Like. That's so random to take control of one earth monster. Like, I don't run any earth monsters. God, where's Armageddon Knight? I haven't got an Armageddon Knight this entire duel. It's just been Dark Graffers. Like, oh, there's Plague. Never mind. Yeah, his, his deck is slow, takes him a while, ooh, thank god. It takes a while to set up, and overall, you're just gonna have a bad time. Yeah, I'll summon Scrap. Okay. Yeah. Uh, his deck is slow, and the original monster is not strong enough to be worth it at all. Your flip monsters aren't that good. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. Yeah. Like, I don't get that Earth Girl. The Earth Charmer. I didn't understand what's up with that. You know, It's like, you just gotta be hoping that you go up against the Earth deck, because if you're, you're not, then it's not even that useful. Alright, sir, you go in first, go ahead. Ten's okay. Once again, Drew Terror again. <sighs> I guess it's Terror. It seems like they rotate sometimes. Wow, running more than a fucking 40 card deck runs card card D. Like, what's up with that? Sorry, again, right? What? I'll just go ahead and send you Bell. There you are. And poke fourteen. <coughs> I don't know, that's that's what I'm giving you. Runs more than a forty card deck and then runs card card. Like, why don't you just cut that card cards out and then you would have more consistency that you wouldn't need to run card card. Like, uh, whatever. I kind of, I kind of hope he doesn't destroy my back row because I would right now would really like to just go ahead and summon Dark Reference and pitch the tear instead of summoning from my hand because then I won't have a dark. Oh, it's a fucking burn deck. Oh, oh, it's a burn. You know, I want to burn deck. We have time for one more duel, and I don't want the last duel in this video to be a fucking sh shucking shitty ass burn deck. I actually want to duel my opponent. As soon as you see that bitch on the field, you're just like, no, no thank you. No. If I want to get sacked, at least get sacked by, like, fucking chicken race. <laughs> Danny. What? Turn the microwave off on me. Sure, go ahead. I don't care. Because you're going to do it anyway, so let's go ahead. Uh, Alright, Miss Hand, once again, it's not bad. I drew you bell this time, but, you know, thank God I drew the rota. And this hand went from eh to actually pretty good. 
go. I'll hold on to this foolish because I don't really need it right now. <sighs> go ahead. So, this hand's actually pretty good. See, because I might just draw the plague. So that's the reason why I don't want to just send it. If I just draw the plague, then drawing plague is much better. It's much better than just sending it and reviving it. So, oh, excuse me. He is looking at my graveyard. Oh, it's a red eyes deck. That's, yep, because that's the only deck that's running this right now. Still working on red icy belts. Still, still a really difficult deck to work on. So, I don't know what red ice fusion. Hmm. Oh, well, I stated before. Monsters beat back row, so. Nah, there's really no point in me doing right, much of anything right now. If you don't got anything, I'll just start poking you for 17. Threatening Roar is fine. Yeah. There's really no point in me overextending. If you don't want to play any monsters or push for any plays, then and just play back row. It's fine. Reckless. Okay. So now you're two turns up on me. It wasn't worth me throwing my 1MST if I wasn't going to push, you know? If I'm going to push, then yeah, let's go, but not right now. Oh, okay. Especially in the top of it. Banish it for item. Yep. Uh, Bredom, go ahead and summon a set from your hand. And he still has a normal summon. That's the that's the crazy thing right now. I'll oh, MST that because it seems like if I MST this, it'll hinder your plays. So. Like I said, all I have to do is just deal with you right now. Oh, he had another one. Never mind. <laughs> Should wait for him to pay cost. I forgot you discarded. He should have to discard because that's an activation. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shouldn't you have to discard the first time? Or the first time? Yeah. You pay cost on activation. You activate your card. Yeah. Discard, then target a banished monster. Then I chain MST. Yeah, you have to discard. You have to discard. You have to dis... Yeah, yeah. You have to discard for the one I MST. So, there you go. Alright, continue. So you can say discard one card, then target one banished monster. Semicolon. So at that semicolon is when I respond. I'm in Draco Sack, that's fine. So you're kind of you're kind of overextending, and I can easily I'm easily gonna crush your plays. That's that's the that's the interesting thing. That's the interesting thing thing. Okay, attach the material, summon two tokens. He's not going to use Draco Sack Effect. Alright, so I take 900. And 28. I don't want him to do anything. So, no Draco Sack Effect, so I keep my Oasis. Hmm. I'm 
Might just go for Beals. Yeah, I can go for Beals. Beals run over the Redum. Then he yeah, he's not drawing. He's not drawing in any cards. Uh, Sack can't do anything to the Beals, and I can. Uh, uh, if he wants to target this, I'll summon Tanner. So, actually, you know what? I don't even need to do that. I don't need to do that because I'm not going to use my normal summon. So I can just make him make like a one on one or something and take him. So yeah, we're totally fine in this duel. Do I need a second Armageddon Knight? That is the question. Not really. So should I put the Armageddon back and then shuffle? Like I said, I'm about to be so up in this door that he might as well surrender. Because he's not drawing for the next two turns, so. Uh, yeah, I don't need another Armageddon Knight right now. Actually, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it, so. I'll do Mali Effect first. Wait, I'm gonna shuffle the deck anyway, so it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter because I'm gonna summon him again tonight. So I guess I should do it now. Yeah, I guess I should do it now. Uh, I'll drop another plague. I don't even know why you're saying okay. It's not like you got anything to stop me, so. I will go for bills. Still go for bills. Then I'm gonna go ahead and oh well, at least it's something defense mode. That's the problem. I wanted to kill all the tokens, but it's pretty clear that I can't. So yeah, it's pretty it's pretty obvious that I can't. So I guess I'll go ahead and go activate Oasis, summon back. Can I kill Can I kill all the tokens and kill him? I don't think I can. What if I go for scrap? What if I go for scrap? If I go scrap effect, destroy, then attack, 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 attack. Yeah, I can. So I'm gonna go melee effect once again. Yeah, I won. Not even a regeki will save you. What is that? Radom? <sighs> so, Radom is destroyed. Give me a token. Give me a token. Bills kill the Draco Sack. Take 400, and you're not drawing for the next two turns, so I win. That's it. GG. You can't survive this. I don't know what a jab means. Uh, yeah. Because you can't draw for the next two turns. There's no way you can survive that for the next two turns without drawing. No cards in the field, no cards in hand, no cards in anywhere. Yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> That's the powerful thing about Reckless, is you get the next two draws, but hopefully, you know, you can do something which you're not getting the next two draws. Like, the field he set up wasn't strong enough to really consider him locking it down, especially, you know, given that he didn't really see it in my place or know what kind of deck I was using. He kind of overextended on that one, so. But he did use every single card in his hand, and still the play wasn't that climactic, so... Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, call that an episode of Out of My Way. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, UXEs. All right, people. Thanks for watching.